What is last account activity in Gmail? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. If you're a Gmail user and you actually use Gmail on the web, you may have noticed down at the bottom of the window, either in the center or typically off to the right-hand side, something that says last account activity. Sometimes it also includes the phrase currently being used in any number of other locations. Is that something to worry about? Generally not, but sometimes it is. Let's have a look at what it is and what it's telling you about the usage of your Gmail account. Here we are in Windows 11. I have my example Gmail account open and you can see that it says last account activity two hours ago. Honestly, that's not true. If I were to hit refresh, I believe that that number would change to uh, two minutes ago, which is when I fired up the browser and opened this web page for the first time. It's not telling me much. It's just telling me that there's been some activity. If I hit details, it's going to open up another window that is telling me the IP address of where I'm at right now, which is my home IP address, of course, and a history of recent activity. Now, where people tend to get concerned is two cases. One is they'll see multiple different concurrent uses of their account. Okay, so while you weren't looking, I went ahead and opened up another browser on this same Gmail account. In fact, you can see it down at the taskbar. A new Google Chrome icon has appeared and it's open to the same email account. If I now refresh this page, F5 will do it, you'll see there, there are two instances, two active sessions on this account. Now, the fact that they're at the same IP address means that, well, it actually only means that they're at the same IP address. Yes, in this case, we know that it's two different browsers on the same machine, but it could be so many different other things. And that's one of the reasons that people get a little concerned when they see multiple sessions on their Google activity. It could be exactly what we've got here. Two browsers, one account. It could be different machines, sharing your internet connection. If you're all going through the same router, you're all sharing the same IP address. That's what's being used here. That's what's being displayed here. As a result, it's possible that multiple different machines all accessing the same email account could in fact show up here as separate sessions. Similarly, if you've got mobile devices that are accessing this email account somehow, and you're using Wi-Fi so that you're also using the same router as your PCs, they could all end up looking like they're coming from the same IP address, multiple sessions from the same IP address. So you get the idea. There are multiple different ways that multiple sessions could appear normally, especially if you're all coming from the same IP address and that IP address is what you recognize as being yours. Where people get concerned is when they see different IP addresses. There are a couple of ways that it can happen legitimately. The one that happens for me the most often is if my phone, my mobile device, is not connected to my Wi-Fi. In other words, it's getting its internet through my data connection. Through the data connection, that's a different ISP is a different IP address. So I'll end up seeing those two different IP addresses listed here, potentially as concurrent sessions. Now, the second part of this, the bottom part is showing us the history. It's showing us different sessions that have happened over recent time. Again, if they all look familiar, if they're all the same IP address as they are, for example, in my example, then honestly, it's not really that much to worry about. But if you notice another IP address and you don't know where it's from and, and you don't recognize it or it's from a different country, that's the time to maybe take the next step. And that next step is to visit Security Checkup for more details. The information down here isn't very useful. The show details is just showing you what browser was being used. In this case, Security Checkup is actually a much more useful interface. Your devices, where you're signed in, 
not necessarily active sessions, but actually where you are signed in right now. If you see something that you don't recognize, for example, you can see these are all the same. These are all me because I've been doing this all morning from this one machine. But if you see something you don't recognize, then go ahead and click on the arrow and it will show you more information about that specific connection. In this case, we can see that this is a Windows machine. It has this machine name. It's from this location, Cottage Lake, which is a suburb or a neighborhood in Woodenville. Um, if you don't recognize something, if this seems out of place, that's when you click the sign out button. This will not sign you out. This will sign out that specific session, regardless of who they are or where they are, or even what software they happen to be running. The important thing here is that you sign them out. Then the next most important thing, go change your password. If you don't recognize a session that is accessing your Gmail account, it's important that you secure your account. And the very first step there is to change your password. I would also recommend adding two-factor authentication at this point, because something you don't understand is accessing your Google account. That can be pretty costly. So consider reviewing and ensuring that you have correct security on your Google account. That being said, still, Chances are, even if it's another IP address, and in many cases, even if it's from another country, it may still be legitimate. Here's what might happen. In fact, I'll even say that it's likely to happen in many cases. You'll sign out that other account, that other session that is currently active, and you'll change your password. Now, sometime later, maybe within a few minutes, or it may take a few days, depending on how you use all of your computers, your services, and so forth, you may find that something you use stopped working. Something you used that relied on your Google account stopped working. And it stopped working because you changed your password. And it wasn't one of those things that you recognized. It was something else. You fixed that service or whatever that is. Come back here and take a look and see how it shows up. Not necessarily in these details, but in the activity history, because that way you'll be able to say, oh, oh, okay, changing the password broke this thing over here. That's that thing I didn't recognize in my Google activity. Now I know what that is and I don't have to worry about it again. But that's really all the activity history is about. It's showing you where and when your Google account has been accessed, in most cases, it'll be from you, either through your web activity, through your mobile activity, through desktop applications like an email program installed on your PC, or through something else. If it's none of the above, if it truly is unauthorized access, yep, then it's time to secure your account and take action. I hope that was helpful. For comments, for updates, for a few more images related to the various scenarios that can come through on this, visit askleo.com slash 149748. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.